Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your uh, <laughs> running late again host, Anon Jr., and um, yeah, if you saw my hastily typed out tweet, you'll know that while I sit upon a <laughs> plethora of unfinished projects, um, I didn't quite get a chance to put together a plan for today. Life and such. Uh, it doesn't help that some issues have been returning that uh, cause a little bit of sleep trouble. And then we moved the clock. Because somebody thought that if you just, you know, shifted an hour, it somehow made things better? Yeah. Uh, the kind of answer only a government can give. So, very tired. Slightly run down. But I, uh... Since I saw it and I remember there's a couple of potholes, creeper holes over here somewhere. There we go. But I think it's going to be th this kind of stuff, just uh, running around with a couple of, uh, like, oh yeah, little things that I've been meaning to do. Hmm. That's not it. There we go. So how are you all doing? You all. <laughs> I say you all. There are zero reviewers. Which I guess is just as well. I, since uh, this is about... About the time that I started. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this, this is about the time that I started uh, streaming Coffee Craft two years ago. I still didn't fill in that one hole. <laughs> yeah, it was somewhere around the, the Ides of March la uh, 2019 that I did my first audio test and uh, started getting everything ready to stream Coffee Craft. We were on our Season Zero server. We'd been doing a little bit uh, before, before any of the live gear started. Um, it is two years later. I'm pretty sure I'm not two years better, but it is definitely two years later. Uh, yeah, it's been a wild ride. The The time frame for Coffee Craft has moved around a little bit. Games Revisited has certainly picked up in uh, production quality, at least. Um, where's that other one before? I forget again. There we go. And, um, yeah. Sorry, trying to get my daylight saving time brain into gear. Especially after an extra long day at work. That, that, that's been part of it, too. Uh, I've been, if you notice, I've been, well, you've noticed, I've been a little more scattered here lately. And that is no small part to, uh, some of the hours I've been keeping, too. All right, fine. All right. Let's, uh... What I need to do is I need to get a basalt generator or go hunting for basalt because I'm going to need more of it for the decoration around here. I'm going to need more of the chiseled stone, but we've got plenty of stone. We're all set on black stone. I think we're good on andesite, and even then, I, I only wanted to continue this design up to this level and then uh, build something else up above that. And I might even take some of the extra dirt and grass that we have and fill in this hole back here. Uh, so the, the greenery goes right up to this line here. Actually, let me do that now, because I know, I know I've know i got the, the grass for that. Uh, we seem to be eternally short on basalt. And, uh... I don't know. 
don't know. Maybe, maybe I will just grab a shulker, shulker box and go, uh... <laughs> what, what was the term for hunting basalt? Is it basalting? Quarrying? Mining? There, be, uh, there should be something around along that bottom row, too. Uh, not more basalt. Or maybe. We'll find out soon enough, because I... Uh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, more basalt. We'll, we'll salt it with more basalt. Or something. Sound like Rest. What? More salt. <coughs> More salt. It just needs more salt. Hey, uh, Mr. French Chef over there. I'm not sure you're the one to be uh, <laughs> saying anything about more salt. I've seen how you cook eggs. Hey, hey, hey that's <coughs> butter, not salt. Uh, that's salt and butter, good sir. And it is tasty. I forgot to do the measurements because I need to. I need to see if I can fit two platforms back here, which means cutting this back. But I gotta get. Uh, I gotta figure out just how far this gotta go. Oh, this is steadily producing some bone meal. Not bad for only what five plants. Yeah. Yeah. Th this was the prototype for a kelp farm. I was thinking of putting somewhere. Not sure where, but somewhere. But uh, for the space and resources, it just didn't seem right. I think what I might do is get some sort of uh, flying machine-based farm over in the bay there. And then just pipe the kelp somewhere else. Maybe. It's a thought. <laughs> what? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. Possibly. It could happen. Um, you know what? Let's bring this there. you're working on? Uh, at present, I was trying to finish up the Mushroom projects out there, and then I realized I don't have part of what I need. I didn't realize you were back at the Mushroom Island. Yeah, I came back out here a week ago. Do, do, is there a new portal out there again? No, just the old one. I need to figure out how to make one on the roof. Ah. Okay. That we can do. That's easy. I'll just need the uh, the nether coordinates. Uh, nether coordinates for where to put it on the roof, and you're probably gonna need a portal in the air, uh, so the roof will link up properly. That's fine. I can build around it once it's in position. Uh, negative three nine one. Uh, I. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. said you wanted the coordinates, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't mean uh -huh. like right this second. Like, there's not much I can do about that right now. Well, you say you want coordinates, I'm giving them to you. Walking away from the portal without <laughs> writing that down. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Write it down. Yeah, or do what I did. You know, rename a piece of glass the coordinates that you need. 
I, I put that in your mailbox. I don't know if you saw. Oh, the skeleton, the skeleton? farm. Yeah. yeah. All right. I know I'm gonna need to make a basalt generator at some point, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that today. Because it's gonna be faster to just go to the Nether. Wear down my pickaxe of awesomeness a little bit, and then, uh, and then go from there. Uh, ah, let's make another shulker. I still got to do something with the foxen too. Need to get a uh, sweet berry farm together for no good reason. What are those? Oh, the same project that I keep uh, forgetting about. Surprisingly low on chests. I can't imagine why. I can't imagine <laughs> why either. <laughs> Blowing through them like crazy here lately. Right, um, I just need the one for now. One shulker box ought to be enough for now, at least. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I probably ought to stop by and grab some of those potions of fire resistance we've been hoarding. If I'm going to be running around the nether. That, that seems advisable. I noticed that as something, you know, for all, for all the complaining we were doing about not having potions of fire resistance before, we don't seem to be making much use of them here lately. Because nobody goes in the nether now. <laughs> After we got everything we needed, we, we kind of never went back. <laughs> That's fair. Doing exactly what I said I'd never do. What? Digging in the nether again. Oh. done my fair share of digging this season. Sound to Steve. Thank you, Jude. I do appreciate that. <laughs> you have awesome. no idea how much I appreciate that, especially right now. <laughs> All right, I am gearing up to go. One thing. How are you doing, salt. Sound Steve? How is Jude doing? Other than being obsessed with Minecraft. Um. Need to get some glass, too. Alright, I got my Piglin Diplomacy hat on. You know why? Because I forgot that this was just a, a rickety old scaffolding ladder. And uh, we're, we're just one Creeper Blast away from... Uh, or Creeper. We're in the Nether. Uh... One of those guys. Nope, nope, nope. You don't see me. Bye. Those guys, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I, I was busy trying to find a place <laughs> to be that wasn't uh, infested with magma cubes. I didn't find that. Oh! Oh, come on. 
Go away. I, I don't want magma cuddles. <laughs> oh, no, let's uh, not do that too close to the uh, <clears throat> to the lava. More of them wandered in. Okay. There are some creepy sounds than the other nowadays. <laughs> oh, that too, yeah. <clears throat> Time for a nice pork chop. Okay. Now, back to the digging. That sounds good. Yeah. I mean, who says no to a nice pork chop? Pig? Eh. You can feed a pig a pork chop. Actually, probably not. No, that's, that's probably not accurate. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, you, 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 I have it on fairly good authority that you can feed a pig a pork chop and he ain't going to care. Anything, they're not going to care. <laughs> Pretty close to it. Those are just little pockets of magma and not a sign of a bigger problem. I'm going to get out from under wherever. Um. I was about to ask if we're okay on Blackstone, but then I remembered that we got all that Blackstone coming in from the uh, farm over there. It's like, nah, we, we are more than okay on Blackstone. Because <coughs> I think we're... How many shulker boxes, or how many double chests deep in Blackstone from the uh, Piglin Trading Hall? It's one of the things that it's... has a, a much higher chance to spawn than I... or chance to trade than I realized. I think the storage is almost full over there, isn't it? Nah. I set up a lot. I knew it was one of the ones that you got more of than some of the other stuff, so I know I doubled up on the on the Blackstone storage. I just don't remember how far how far in that was. Blackstone, gravel, um I kinda wish there was somebody who would trade sand. And then, uh, then I'd consider going crazy on concrete, but. Say, I, I brought back a ton of sand. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I'm talking like I would like to load up a double chest of stuff for people to trade and then come back to a double chest full of sand. That That's what I would really like. Eh, I think you're <laughs> living in a dream world is what you're doing. <laughs> nah. Oh, read anything good lately? Uh, nothing that new. No. <laughs> nothing new. Um, oh, <laughs> since uh, I know you're a fan of a lot of the cooking shows, I don't know if you know this, but the company that bought the rights to Kitchen Nightmares mm -hmm. and one of the other shows that, um, what's his name does? Um, uh, Oh yeah. Oh, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to play Lego Star Wars. I was playing Knights of the Old Republic two, which uh, that that would be an, a wonderful game for him to get into. That that would be a good game to get into. All right, guys, you guys stay <laughs> over there. I'll stay over here. Oh, Lego Star Wars, huh? Yeah. Might have to add that to the list. Well, I mean, it, it's games revisited material. It's it's an older game. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to remember how far how far back uh, Lego Star Wars came out. Uh, the first one. Oof. 
long time ago. If I had to guess, I'd easily say probably 06, 07. Oh, uh, then that that still puts it at the new, <laughs> at the way new end of the stuff that I've been playing. I mean, considering that right now I'm in the middle of Crystallis, which came out well, in I mean, 1990. I, I can't say that you're uh, in the middle of Crystallis simply because someone likes to over level. I mean, I'm not over level. You're, you're you're like end of course, <laughs> uh, Crystallis just happens to be that you're playing in the middle of the game. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Gore. No. No. Gore. I'm actually kind of surprised that there's not a Lego Star Trek. I, I would have thought Paramount would have been all on that. And I love Star Wars. I love Star Trek. I'm not sure that I could say one was better than the other. They definitely serve different niches. And even within Star Trek, you get a let, let's uh, let's get into which Star Trek because each of the different shows was its own its own thing. Although I got to say that Enterprise was the last show that I I watched with any degree of regularity. I have not seen the new one because I don't have a um, Paramount Plus subscription. I'm about to. I just found out they have the Premier League games on. Ooh. Like, what? <laughs> nice. Of all the people I would think to have the Premier League game contract, Paramount is not the one I would have thought. Uh, I don't know. Uh, them and uh, NBC, I think, is the other one I would need to get to get all soccer. Yeah, I, I was going to say. And NBC, I know, has a lot of the... the Football yeah. contract, well, those kinds of football, con well, both kinds of football contracts, if we're being honest. Uh. <laughs> um, NBC has a few of the NFL stuff, but CBS holds a lot of it. Oh, yeah, well, uh, you know, like, there, there's owning some contracts, and then there's CBS. Like, <laughs> let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! No no! Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, did I'll somebody forget that it's too early in the morning? Or no, I did my rest impression. It's all good. Uh huh. Y you walk off a cliff? No, I'm in the Nether. Oh. And uh, there are piggies, and I don't have gold on. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of angry. Um, <laughs> Uh, Gordon Ramsay's uh, Kitchen Nightmare show, the the group that bought the rights to it, is now airing and has uh, signed off to a number of different services the complete unedited series. Um. And I'm told you can find it on YouTube in uh, the latest episode of Cord Killers. Okay. Uh, there was Kitchen Nightmares and one other show that Gordon Ramsay did that they got the rights to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get that. I get that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not just a, a TNT launcher and a, a hole? <laughs> I mean... Hey, hey, you, you say that like a hole in the ground isn't a perfectly serviceable base. I'll, I'll have you know that, uh... Oh! Oh, um... Wow! You alright there, buddy? This isn't where I wanted to be. <laughs> you, uh... Uh, I fell through a hole, landed in a fortress... There were three nether skeletons. Oh. And they didn't want me there. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to be there. <laughs> now I'm all the way back at Spawn Island. <laughs> oh. Um <laughs> Did uh did, did somebody forget to uh reset their spawn point? You know. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Let's Oof. see. 
the working um, box. Let's get a new elytra out. Did did you at least you should have at least gotten coordinates okay. for where you died, right? I did. Okay. We'll find out if it worked this time. Yeah, I you know all of the player grave stuff has been acting really weird. Um just remember this this one you either left click or right click. I don't remember which. You don't crouch near it. <laughs> uh really diverse cross section. Oh, uh it's okay. You you're not missing much on the last Star Wars movie. Uh yeah. Yeah, you, you, you're not missing much on that one. It's more fan service than it is a movie, and it's not even good fan service. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I got a review, but I try to keep the, the channel family friendly. <laughs> 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 that's, uh, that's all I'll say about that. But yeah, uh, Star Wars and Star Trek do service different type... Oh, ow! Uh, Magma Cube. I even looked at it. Um, they they definitely uh, service different types of uh, sci-fi. Then and then you get into Firefly, and that's a whole other type. But I won't get into that too soon. Oh, jeez, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched. I I watched a documentary on some of the Firefly stuff that was done relatively recently and apparently the reason why they killed Wash and Shepard is because the actors wouldn't commit to a sequel. Oh. Are they actually planning to yes. do something? Yes. They were planning to do a series of movies and then use that to launch a reboot of the show. But okay, they didn't get the sales numbers they wanted because they were worried, and they leaked advanced copies at like Comic Con and a bunch of other conferences. So everybody who would have done two to three trips to the movies to see it uh, already saw it two or three times at different conferences. Hi, friend. Oh, hey, 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 you dude! Ow. Come on, oh, I'm just oh, getting oh, my stuff. Timing, alone, timing, baby. timing. Ow! No! I I don't need two of you. I don't need two of you. Arr, shoot him. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ow! Where'd the gas hey, go? People are mean around here. Um, maybe I should grab a shield. <laughs> hmm. that, that is a question, isn't it? Totem or shield? Oh. I'll stick with the totem. I've, I've never been more happy oh. to see you dead piggies in my life. Hi. <laughs> keep, keep the live ones away from me. Hello, friend. <laughs> Come on. There we go. As far as Star Trek goes, huh? Oh. I hate to say I don't know much about any of it. <laughs> yeah, the original series was good. Uh, a lot better than... You know, like, okay, some of the, the Shatner mocking got really popular uh, with, with fairly good reason. But, uh, A, it was never it was never as bad as, as a lot of people like to make it out to be. Um, and some of the worst of Shatner's stuff was encouraged by the uh, producers. Yeah, imagine that. Sometimes uh, poor decisions. Well, I mean, I, I don't really know much about the, sh the Shatner years. Other than what was Trouble with Tribbles, oh. and I think there was like one or two other episodes I saw. But oh, 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 that was bad, bad idea, bad one. idea, bad idea, bad idea. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Sounds like it. Oh, you alone, piggy. Not talking um, to you. You know what? I don't need a shovel on my hot bar, but I do need. A potion of fire resistance. <laughs> that, that, that being the reason why I brought them, right? Right, right, right there next to the pickaxe. Yep. Right there next to the pickaxe. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but, uh... 
Yeah, the, the 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 classic Star Trek. If you can get past the '60s production, because uh, where we are now and what we've seen now puts the 1960s television. You know, it was ahead of its time in that regard. But um, you know, we, we we've made a few advances since the '60s. <laughs> a few. Yeah, a few. So I mean, if you can manage expectations, get past the production, and get into the story and characters. Uh, classic Star Trek still holds up really well. Uh, it is also kind of funny, the the things that have actually come to be because of people watching Star Trek. Like, you watch the door, the turbo lift doors and all that open up automatically as people walk up, and, you know, we don't think anything of it because we see that at Food Line every time. Uh, uh, when the show aired, that wasn't a thing. <laughs> that just didn't happen. It, it, and for the for the series, it was you know, two guys just off camera going three, two, one, pull, <laughs> and <laughs> pulling these cables to open it up. And the actors were told, walk to the doors as if it's going to open, and, and then you go watch the Star Trek outtakes, even into the next generation. Uh, of people walking into doors because some Yahoo couldn't open his door on time. And, and they're okay. just walking right at it because they're supposed to, they're, you know, they're supposed to live in this age and treat it like, you know, everything it's works. It's just going to happen. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I'm going to walk to this door and it's going to open. And uh, that's that's all there is to that. <laughs> So there are some hilarious outtakes in that regard. But, uh, of course, this is the one that really, truly irks me. Uh, I never would have thought that uh, we would all be treating our wireless communicators like this and shouting at them like we're reading a script for a televised audience. Okay, <laughs> that, that, that might be a little bit of a something. Um, that, that kind of gets me a little, a little riled up. Like seriously, t I, I don't need to hear your conversation with whoever you're talking to. You, you can put that phone in its normal mode of operation and talk to them that way. And I greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay. I might have feelings about that. I'd ask how your day went at work, but never mind. <laughs> That work went okay. Uh, my biggest problem, my biggest problem at work is, is just I'm not, I'm not up to production yet, and it's one of those things that I know it's going to take me a while to get there. But uh, it, it's getting through that middle part, you know. And the fact that with the with the way the weather's been yo-yoing, uh, I've been having a lot of pain in my hand, and when you're supposed to hold a bridge to you know, shape the feet to the body, uh, that, that becomes a might bit more important than normal. And so the naproxen is doing an okay job of managing the pain and an excellent job of making me wonder and have time to read. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. They're with you on the weather. I wish it would make up its mind. I, mean, I, from what I understand, we're supposed to even get. Hey, hey, hey! Now, who shot me with fire? No, oh, uh, probably a guest. Speaking of which. Oh, there you are. No, it's and, a place. Uh, sorry, Jude. I have not been watching the the surviving a hundred days of Minecraft videos. I know that it's a thing that I forget who started it, but a lot of people have been doing that. Uh, I saw a couple of videos pop up from Shulkercraft. I keep tabs on them because they do a lot of uh, farm building tutorials. So where somebody's gone through and they've built the farm, but they don't tell you how to build it, these guys figure it out and show you how to build it. So if you're looking for some really easy to follow tutorials, Shulkercraft has a lot of them, and they are really good. 
Uh, I know Waddles has been talking about his uh, doing a 100, 100 Days Survival thing. And he's another good channel to watch. Uh, he reminds me in a lot of ways of Arcadius in that he, he, he doesn't stay in the same world for too, too long. He, he likes starting new stuff, the thrill of the early game. And then, you know, he, he does build more farms than Arcadius does and get into a little bit more of the redstone. But uh, I'm feeling judged here. <laughs> not, no, not judge. Just, just a statement of you know. Uh, let, let, let's be honest. Uh, I remember before we started running as a server, server, uh, somebody was infamous for uh, starting a new world every couple of weeks. Oh, I still do that on my <laughs> private world. What are you talking about? Hey, I mean, medic. what? What are you talking about? Judged. Judged. Hey, wait a minute. You're off work. Why aren't you on here? I was going to ask. I, I assume there was a good reason. Yeah, he's probably not feeling well. Yeah. Hey, 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 this is my tree. You stop that. Speaking of Dirty not feeling well, you, you all right over there? Everything good? Who, me? Yeah, I'm yeah. fine. I mean, I, I, I feel like we're about ready to enter in a, uh, a Star Wars bit. Yeah, everything all right down there? Yeah, yes, everything's fine Fine here. How, how are you? <laughs> oh, what the... <laughs> Okay. Couldn't even let me have your stuff, could you, Mr. Blaze? Jeez. Nope. Like he dies and he falls into like the one lava pit for a hundred blocks. Oh, <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> uh, but anyway, getting back to... Uh, yeah, Waddles does a lot of good videos. It focuses a lot on the early game and the smaller scale single player farms. Uh, like, I, I love watching a lot of the Sidecraft guys like Nembom and, and, and Il Mango, and, and they make farms, but they make farms that uh, are ridiculous. Like, they, they are just out and out ridiculous. Here's how to get 8,282 cooked pork chop an hour. You know, that kind of stuff. And I love it because I love the technical aspect of it. I mean, my background is computer programming, so it does it, it does hold a place a little bit nearer to to where I live. But um, for most people, it, you you don't. That, that's not quite what you need. Whereas the the farms and redstone that Waddles puts together is definitely a little more appropriate for single player needs. And they are relatively easy to follow. Um, he doesn't get into some of the lag proofing type stuff that you would need, but because he plays all local, you, you don't have as many lag concerns when you're playing local as you do when you're sharing a server. Um, be kind to your server mates. Lag proof your stuff that you build, please. <laughs> nope. I refuse. Yeah, I know. We've been meaning to talk about that. <laughs> what? I haven't done f like the forty-two, like oh yeah, no, no, no. Trust proper me. chains that I used to do. Yeah, don't don't get me started on those. I mean, maybe twelve or twenty, but not forty-two. Not like that time. <laughs> Judged again. Wait, you or him? Because <laughs> I didn't, I didn't call anybody out on that one in particular this time <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of some of the other some of the others that uh, I remember seeing do the 100 day survival thing uh, and it awful. <laughs> well, well no I know I know a lot of people have been doing it don't hear what I'm saying but I'm talking about the people that I watch on the regular that I would feel comfortable recommending uh, um, I think why don't you do one I think Avomance has done it, but I'm not sure. It would certainly be in his wheelhouse, and, and he, like Waddles, focuses a little more on the single player, a little bit more on... You know, he does do some excellent farms and, and some excellent tutorials, and it is, uh, it is a little more uh, sized appropriate for a single player, small server kind of kind of deal. Um, 
Cortez Reno might? I haven't watched his channel in a long while. Uh, partly because he stopped building, a, he stopped doing some of the tuto farm tutorials. Uh, I don't think Logical Geek Boy has done that. Although, if Jude is really interested in learning a lot of the mechanics behind how things work, uh, I definitely recommend Logical Geek Boy's channel. Because he, he gets into, especially with like his creeper farm tutorials and that sort of stuff, he gets into like, look, the, this is what you need to do and this is why it works. And it's that last part that, that I really appreciate and that I've been trying to emulate in my own work is not just go, oh, oh yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I don't like going just, you know, just do this, put this here, put this here and et voila, a farm appears. Um, I probably should have grabbed my compass. Which way is home? That way is home. Okay. Um... <laughs> Aloha. It's uh -oh. dangerous. <laughs> I should probably put some of the others down here. Oh, uh, somebody put shulker boxes of fire resistance. I didn't realize we had those there. That's good to remember. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I, I know that it's I know that the survival videos have been on hardcore mode. Oh, uh, what just exploded? Medic, you better take him out before he takes out Rayest's building. She will not be happy with that, and I will not be here for the end result. I will totally walk out through that portal and go. No, nope, no, nope, didn't see anything. Didn't see nothing. I don't know what happened. I saw nothing. I, I nothing. saw nothing. <laughs> but yeah, there, there, there's a few, there's a few guys along those lines that uh, are really good for getting started. Magma cream is for the f strength potions, right? Uh, or fire No, resistance. blaze powder is for strength. Cream is... Think of it like aloe. It's cream. You put it on for burns. Oh. That, that's the way I think about it. You know? Okay. Whenever I'm trying to remember which one's which. Uh, Vanilla Tweaks has this data pack which actually gives you a little recipe chart when you look at the brewing stand you have no idea how much I deeply deeply appreciate that so I can do things like okay nether then wart just look at then magma Discord, cream. I gave you the full list <laughs> yeah no I've, I've got a couple other charts <laughs> elsewhere too but you know it's never it's never when I need it where I need it this is like literally right there Also put that in the queue to load up. Right, uh, I'm going to need a little more andesite while I'm here. I'm getting better at trying to pronounce correctly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and we got plenty of stone. What other blocks might I want to mix in? Oh, am I... Toss a little cobble in there too. That that might be a little more noise than I want to do though. Oh. How about I don't know. All the basalt that I went to farm for half an hour or so. Short term 
Ow. Short term memory or something or other. <sighs> so, what you working on there, medic? Is he in chat? He's obviously watching, which means he can. One of the two chat forms we have going. <laughs> not, not dying. dying. Yeah, okay. I, I hear that's a very important project. <laughs> um, very valuable project. Y yes, that. Why'd you end up like me? I'm over here for. I'm over here for something. Oh, the box of stone. Oh, that's a lot oh, of crikey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I meant to send you the link to uh, one of the other after talk, or not after talk, but uh, one of the spoiler in time bits from uh, cord, this week's Cord Killers. Um, Arcadius, have you taken the time to watch the making of special for The Mandalorian? I know you watched The Mandalorian because, well, this is the way. Um, but No, I have not. Mostly simply because I don't know if it's going to be worth continuing until I get a little more info about the, you know, the way. <laughs> yeah. Once, I, once I'm fanboyed, satisfied that they're not messing around with characters they shouldn't okay um, messing around with, uh, it, then I will take a bigger look. It, at it sounds like you might like the uh, the the making of feature that they do, uh, just because. <laughs> the, in spoiler in time, they were going to talk about it, and Tom starts off with, "Yeah, I really liked it." And then, uh, let's just say that Brian and Bryce had different opinions. And you're trying to get me to go watch this? Uh, because <laughs> I think in this instance, you are more likely to fall into Tom's side of things than you are Brian and Bryce. And I think you will enjoy it. Okay. I'll give it a try, and we can talk next Tuesday about whether or not I should gut you like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Tom, Tom starts off his thing about how he likes it, and then uh, it was either Brian or Bryce. I forget who it was, but one of them goes, well, I'm glad that this is for somebody. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you evil. You're going to die for that. I'm sorry. Are you still back at the nether? Hmm. Um, we even bother putting that there? Yeah. That guy there, that guy there. I hate that we got this one random bit of wall that's like too wide. And I was going to try go. Mr. Gast, I got your tears and your head. What you feel about that? <laughs> that's what you get for blowing up my shroom lights. I had three oh. of them. I just got okay. out of a tree. They were on the ground and then he blew them up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you guys stopped by. I do appreciate that. Ah, good night, Jude. Thanks for stopping by, Steve. I, you know, I should probably go to bed too. The time change has not been kind to me. <laughs> I was, I was having trouble sleeping before, and then the time changed. Like, <laughs> oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes, right? You know, I originally came here just to get some quartz real quick because I only needed like seven stairs out there at the mushroom. Um, 
and I've been out here gathering Diggity. shroom lights now. Why are you <laughs> gathering shroom lights? I have no idea. They were there, so I started picking them up. They were there. There was this one Not tree like... <laughs> that had like six of them in it, so I was like, you know what? Cool, I'll just start grabbing those. And then that led me to another tree. Mm. Now I have almost an entire inventory full of shroom lights and nether warp or whatever it's called. And uh, no quartz, by the way. <laughs> Are you taking the lumber too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I just, you know. Hey, you know no, 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 because we, we were just talking about a lack of chests and, you know, the lumber would definitely help. Wait, wait a minute. You want to turn some of the hardest wood in the game to get your hands on into chests? It's not that hard to get your hands on. I mean, you got what, a whole inventory full of it? That is beside the point right now, good sir. What I really don't know what to do with is the uh, the warped wart blocks. I mean, what what use is that? Um, The can red you ones you can break this? down to nether wart because of a data pack that we have installed. No, I'm talking about the other ones. Um, the other ones, uh, they're great for making bone meal. Oh, okay. So they do have a, a semi-use. Oh yeah, like the the okay. farm that I will eventually get around to building. <laughs> uh, the other, 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 other farm that I will eventually get around to building. Um, you takes advantage of the fact that even the smallest of the trees produce enough nether wart uh, blocks to create enough bone meal to make the farm self-sustaining. Because they're just that good at producing bone meal. Okay. Hold on, Piggy. I'm not wearing gold. You leave me alone. Did I not bring some cobble with me? I thought I brought some cobblestone with me. Back. Now the question... Hey, you leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone, piggies. Piggies. You stay over there. I'll stay over here. Nobody has to die today. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I, I was hoping... Okay. I was hoping Reyes would hurry up and jump in on chat because I, I figured she would deeply, deeply appreciate this one too. Um, in the uh, after show for Cord Killers, Brian mm -hmm. said, uh, <laughs> Brian was like, maybe, maybe somebody like me might have, you know, pitched the modern rogue as uh, Mythbusters, but with no budget and the hosts like each other. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize the hosts of Mythbusters didn't like each other. Uh they they rather infamously uh have have some issues. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll call them issues. We're talking about the two primary guys, not the the, the trio squad, right? I believe so, yes. The real people, not not those other ones. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Oh, come on! Where did that come from? All right. Oh, uh, let's throw. has been interesting watching the modern rogue go from where it was to uh, where it is now. Good, bad, what? Oh, no, no, no. Very, very good. Uh, uh, 
I, I forget what the occasion was, but they had flashed back to one of the one of the episodes very, very early on in the series. And that's when they were still working out of Brian's garage. And it reminded me of the episode they did on knife throwing, where some random guy walking his dog down the street started talking to them in the middle of the show. <laughs> Because it was literally out of Brian's garage. Like, That's awesome. Oh, yeah, because it was one of the early Thermite episodes, which they were also building out of Brian's garage. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like I didn't map this out correctly. That's because I didn't map this out correctly. Two. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we can do about this. Possessed me. Start rebuilding this like that. Cause now I got this weird corner here. they come from dude <laughs> i feel like i need to ask again are you all right over there do, do no you... <laughs> no no i'm not okay there's like six blades like right where i was standing show me on the armor stand oh, oh. <laughs> all over all over it burned it wasn't nice okay something different with that corner. Yeah, I gotta fill that in with something. You know what? I'll just fill that in with grass. Okay. Finish the pork chop. for it. Sure. You, uh, you got a snack there, Arcadius? Your health bar is starting to look like, uh, Rayest's. Only down half a heart. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ugh. I mean, if you're offering a snack, I'd, I'd like one. I've got some pork chops right here. <laughs> oh, you you wanted a helpful snack. <laughs> cheesecake or yeah. Ooh, cheesecake. <laughs> I mean, okay. All that not helpful stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's a part of me that really wants them to add a wider variety of food in the game, just because it seems like we really could and should. But, um, I also noticed that, that once you get a certain, you know, you don't see the full spectrum of food being used with any degree of regularity. 
partly because it's easier to just carry like a couple of stacks of pork chops um you know and then when it comes to how much hunger it fills and how long you stay uh refreshed there there's not that many foods in the game that fit the bill in a stackable travel travel friendly sort of way does that make sense there we go there. <laughs> like I mean how, how often do you see people carrying something other than golden carrots steak or pork chop I mean that was at one time I, I mean yeah you went crazy with the <laughs> you went crazy with the fish there for a season but that was because you, you literally lived on a fish farm well, yeah, I, I lived in a <laughs> like that, that's <laughs> that's like in so. season zero. I I consisted primarily of cooked chicken because I made a farm that was producing it faster than I could eat it. And even though cooked chicken is absolutely garbage as far as uh, a useful food goes, it uh it really did it really did fit the bill. something different for that corner. I don't like any of my options. Well, I didn't help anything either. Um, hmm. A restless job out of here. It is. It is a restless jelly year. Eh. Maybe I will take that all the way up. Hey, Beast Lord. Thank what? you for the sub. Are amazing. I gotta, I gotta get the automated stuff. Howdy, howdy, and I hear you on that. Uh, earlier, I was earlier my ramblings. I was going on about uh, being tired, and then the time changed. <laughs> um, how much of this do I want to? Do I want to actually enclose, and how much of this do I want to? I want to keep the gray for the foundation, that's for sure. I think part of my problem is I really wanted to put a wood wall around it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the, the farm isn't actually technically completely working yet. There's a timing issue over in that system over there, and it is driving me crazy. Because for some reason, logs are getting pushed into that middle where one isn't supposed to be pushed. And this guy in the corner here keeps getting pushed down when he should be moving across. And I just... I. Uh, Last weekend got tied up in some other business, so maybe this weekend I'll tackle it. Maybe even tomorrow I'll tackle it. I am prepared for Crystallis on Friday for Games Revisited, because I didn't do Games Revisited the Friday before. I played Battlefield Five, which was fun. Uh, Asterisk. Something... <laughs> something was causing a very, very laggy experience for me uh, in Battlefield. And that part was not fun. Uh, that part was very not fun. The lag. Oh, the lag. But uh, I, since I found a... 
since I found a Windows update waiting for me as soon as I finished. I I'm wondering <laughs> I'm wondering if that wasn't part of the problem. <laughs> you were downloading an update while we were playing? That, um, yeah, w Windows wasn't trying to download an update while playing, <laughs> while playing Battlefield. Like, that... Not helpful, Windows. Not helpful. Yeah, like, like I'm all about keeping things up to date. Don't hear it on my saying. But uh, there's a time and a place for everything. And that was neither the time nor the place for a Windows update. Not even a little bit. Uh, plus, I also found out that Battlefield is trying to store the preferences in my documents folder, which sounds great until you realize that I have that set up to sync with OneDrive. So OneDrive is trying to run in the background, synchronizing everything while I'm trying to not get shot. <laughs> that, you know, yeah, that, small things like that. It's all good. Little things, you know, little, little <laughs> things that eat up the bandwidth. Um, but I'm also not entirely sure that I've got the settings uh, optimized for... Like, I dropped them down to the bare minimum, and I was still having some really weird issues. Uh, and I know, Arcadius, you mentioned Friday that it took a little while until all the maps were downloaded and installed. Or until you it played all the maps way. a couple of times. Yeah, it felt that way. It really did. Like, I, would, I had to play... two, three sessions of playing and then it started to feel like I was not lagging at all. Yeah. Like, I still get that initial burst of lag when you first go into a map. Like, it's downloading the actual data of all where the players are and everything. Yeah. But outside of, like, the first 15 seconds, then everything runs smooth. Okay. Yeah, it could just be... Of course, uh, it could also be the graphics card I've got. It is, uh... It's better than what I've had before, but it's still not the it's still not the beefiest. That might be an upgrade for uh, in the future. Uh -oh. You're about to be reminded that somebody thinks it's eight o'clock. It's not, but <laughs> but yeah, other 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 than the the minor lag issues it it absolutely was very fun playing battlefield uh frustrating in that it's a it's been a little while since i last played any first person shooters and oh that's right you guys are in the nether aren't you yeah. i was like why isn't the farm produced like i i should be bathed in xp by now oh no. mob, mob no, cap not for you mob cap <laughs> I got like <laughs> twelve striders staring at me, so no, you you get nothing. Go away. <laughs> Alright, you? No. Yeah, the last the last first person shooter I played with any regularity was Delta Force, and that was a Nova Logic game that we played right up through Joint Operations. Uh, and I should also add that. Even even all that considered, I didn't. I very rarely played. No, I never played on a public server. It was always within my small group, so it. I didn't have to be. I didn't have to be that good. I just had to be better than the group. Um, and even that wasn't a you know. Even that wasn't a given. But it was. You know, four to six friends on a local, local game. You see, kids. I started playing multiplayer games where multiplayer meant somebody had to lug their tower over to your house. Because dial-up was not good enough. <laughs> things I don't miss. <laughs> I remember when I had to walk uphill both ways to school. Oh. 
you, you, you know that Gen X is trending on Twitter right now. And, and of course, all the jokes are, oh, we're finally getting noticed. How nice. <laughs> Leave us alone. Because <laughs> there, there's some major article making the rounds with uh, boomers and millennials are hoping Gen X will speak up and, and get get the Gen Z in line. And, uh, of course, Tom had to reply back to one of them with, uh, you know, they may be calling, but Gen X doesn't accept the charge. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I really need a new mouse. <laughs> a new mouse? <laughs> I have gone to right click. I found a... Uh... Obsidian portal that was practically finished in the nether. Okay. So I just wanted to put the two blocks it needed into the right place off of the sides where it didn't need them and light it and see where it went just because I'm curious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're, you're supposed to be able to find all sorts of um, runes. Well, anyway. So I, f I found this one in the nether and it only had two blocks out of place. So mm -hmm. I picked the two blocks up. I go to put them and my right mouse click is doing this thing where it likes to, uh, when I click it once or hold it, it'll act like I'm clicking 5,000 times or it will act like I'm not touching it at all. <laughs> In this case, I put down as if I'm having an auto clicker, both obsidian and neither is in one place position I want them. <laughs> so I have to pick them up and I did that like three times in a row. <laughs> now, what kind of mouse do you have right now? I'm trying to remember the brand and all that. Oh, it's red and it has a dragon on it. I don't, I don't really. <laughs> Seriously, it was a, it was a quick replacement for my my old uh, razor when my razor was uh, dying okay. on me. Uh, 2000 DPI Red Dragon Light. I think is what it's called. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, it was a quick replacement, so I mean, I think it served its purpose. I've had it since. Are, yeah, I was getting ready to say, because you, 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 keep, you keep using, you know, the phrase quick replacement, and, uh... Well, I mean, I'm probably about to get another quick replacement. I, I was <laughs> getting ready to say, are, 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 right we, are we about one. to get into the, the same, like, you know, <laughs> quick replacement? Yeah, no, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna need a Red Dragon. Rapidly. Um... Is Any that... recommendations in chat? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a fan of a lot of Logitech stuff. Logitech, uh, although, uh, most of what I use, you don't like anyway. Well, uh, yeah, because, well, you... Go ahead. You can say it. What, you stink? Yeah. No. no that's, that's fun. Oh, oh, wait, what were you saying? Or you're lefty? I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying here. Oh, that because I prefer trackball. Oh, that, oh that's right. I no longer. I can't, have I can't really I say anything wire. against that. I used to play with the trackball. I, I love. I think them. when me and you met this time around after uh, college, I was playing with a trackball, and then were you? One of our one of our mutual friends got me hooked on a. Uh, yeah, I was getting ready to say he got you hooked on this like really ritzy metal framed deal. Yeah, yeah, that was the uh, that was the razor I was using. Yeah, customizable, make it the the width you wanted, oh, yeah. the weight you wanted, with magnets in it to make it heavier. Dude, it was awesome. Oh yeah, right up until I had a glass tabletop. <laughs> <laughs> was it the glass tabletop? I thought. Oh yeah, yeah, good because yeah, the laser yeah. wouldn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, it started to die on me. So this one's got a a problem with the. Uh, right click and that one has the problem with the laser so I'm just apparently really painful to mice I don't know was it was it you or was it him that put the dent in the metal frame oh that was him okay that was him he uh he got upset at uh actually if uh beast lord's there he'll, he'll understand this one uh -oh. 
we were playing uh, Divinity, the original one, not the one you're playing right now. Divinity Original Sin 1, the Enhanced Edition. <laughs> and he got upset at the game because the RNG in that in the original one was uh, kind of uh, way rough. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he got upset and he smacked his hand down with the mouse in it. And like splinter cracked his desk's uh, <laughs> his desk's top, which was this like uh, really really thick pixie glass kind of material. Anyway, he did that, and then uh, he picked up the mouse and realized it wasn't working quite right. It's because <laughs> he had bent the metal frame. Like there was a lot of positions on the mouse you could like augment the mouse and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Not anymore. Am I? I ask myself the very question many times. No, no, no. I, I dug up out of the ground after oh. figuring out where this portal was. Because it put me in, like, a cave system. Which, if I had torches, would probably look really cool. Because it was wide open. But, uh, I'm trying to figure out where I am above ground now. Why do you not have torches? I mean, what kind of crazy question is that? Who just walks around with torches in their hand? I've got some in my bag of holding. Gotta talk, man. You really gotta talk. What are you talking about? Then you don't <laughs> sit there going, man, if I only had some torches. Alright, um... Yeah, I'll put the extra in here. Uh, the first one will help you understand the storyline. But I don't know that it's necessary... Um, they made some really good quality of life changes from Divinity 1 to Divinity 2. Such as? Uh, some of the casting, some of the, the wielding of weapons, some of the movement parameter rules, things like that. They, they did do a lot to help it. Um, like quality of life changes and things like that. They went back and actually tried to fix that stuff in 1... Uh, when they released the definitive enhanced edition, which they gave out for free for anyone who had the Divinity uh, uh, One, be because so, of the fixes. But yeah, exactly okay. because of how many quality of life fixes they did. But like, that was only to scratch the surface compared to the to how much easier and smoother it is to play two. Hi, we're sorry. And, this is such a problem. Will you please take this free upgrade? Yeah, like, pretty much. Is that is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what happened. Um, and I don't know that enough of the storyline isn't already rehashed to you in storyline. That, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that you need to go back and play one to understand two. I think two stands by itself plenty well. Okay. When did the first Divinity come out? Ooh. Um. Question. It's not going to be a game revisited, if that's what you're asking. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I was kind of wondering. it's in the teens. But... Oh, oh yeah. No, yeah, no. Nah. It's, it, it's, a, it's a more modern game. Like, I, I'm, I'm really thinking that, uh. For the next season, I'll probably go with Trine. Even though Trine is technically too new, we keep starting Trine but never finishing it. I want to see how that game actually finishes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really want to know how that finishes. I, I've had too much fun. Uh, and we may have to see if we can get a schedule so that way you and Reyes can play with me because... Uh, while I understand that one player can play Trine and complete it, it is uh, way easier with more hands. Oh, yeah. Uh, and for those not familiar, Trine is a... I don't know how to sum up the story, but one of the game mechanics is you have three people that you control. So if you're playing one player, you're switching between the three different characters in the game. Uh, each one has different things that they can do, like there's a wizard that can conjure 
uh, blocks and things. There, there's a fighter that, well, does fightery things and stabs the stuff that are trying to kill you. Um, and there's a rogue like character that uh, does all the amazing acrobatics and also shoots things from afar so you don't have to worry about if they can hit you or not. Because if they're dead before they can run up to you, it doesn't really matter. Um, and, and in order to get some of the extra special stuff, you 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 really do need to have like the wizard doing his thing to help the fighter do his thing to help the rogue do her thing. Uh, so the three of us have played it. I tend to play the wizard. Arcadius tends to play the fighter. And uh, Reyes tends to play the rogue. I feel I feel typecasted. Uh, you feel typecasted. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we've all just you know settled in to to understand like this is how it is. And because uh, <laughs> let's be honest, every time there's a game like that to do, what do we end up doing? You sit in the back and do nothing while I have to uh, kill wait, everything. Wait, wait, and... wait, 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 <laughs> wait. What do you mean do nothing? I'll remember that. <laughs> yep. Oof. Until that D&D &D session starts, you know. Yeah. You sit in the back, drop your weapon a few times while I oh, do all the hard one work. One time, huh? one time. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to remember, Beast Lord. You're three hours or four uh, ahead. Three? It's three. Cause I, I remember it's out out by the the west coast, but even because I'm trying to figure out, you know, an hour ago. That's uh, you know, uh, math and my coffee cup runneth empty. Oh, that's true. I do need to refill my cup. Two minutes till five there. Okay, yeah. yeah. That still makes for a long day. Especially depending yeah. on when you start. Because I'm supposed to leave work at 4.30. Uh, I, I left um, pretty close to five. And I still got that one violin that needs a lot more help than I've been... Oh, it's nighttime. Um... That one violin that needs a, a lot more help sitting on my desk waiting for uh, when I get there tomorrow. At least it gives the time for the shellac and all that to set and settle. I have seen a couple of interesting uh, home repairs. Although I've been forewarned that I will see far, far worse if I if I stay with this uh, <laughs> any length of time. Uh, to include the uh, a rather helpful father who thought he was going to help his kid. You see, the bridge on his violin kept sliding, so he. Uh, Got some Gorilla Glue. And the, the the foamy Gorilla Glue. And foamy Gorilla Glue, the feet of the bridge to the... the yeah, he completely ruined a, a $900 violin. Like, completely ruined it by, by Gorilla Gluing the bridge to the top. And then going... The sound is kind of muffled. Um, do, I, do, do you know what? How, do you know what, what caused that? Uh, I don't know, because he didn't like put just a little gorilla glue. He like put a a a trench around each of the feet. Like, I mean, th this this is this would have been excessive if you were caulking windowing or tile or something like that. Like, like, he didn't just, you know, put a little bit of Gorilla Glue down. He glued it down. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. 
Although, Reyes has come up with uh, a more interesting and heartbreaking uh, one of those type stories where the, the child is having problems with their clarinet and another dad trying to be very helpful trying to be helpful oh um, no I know this story <laughs> sprayed all the key all the nickel plated keys with uh, WD-40 and completely ruined the finish and well the clarinets too uh on uh I want to say it was somewhere in the $1,200 worth of clarinet variety. Like. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, right, guys. I'll get to you in just a minute. Not so much that I need, uh. Yeah. I mean, look. I am all for learning how to fix your own instrument and, and figuring out how all that stuff works and, you know, do, doing the work you can on your own because there is a, often a lot of work you can do on your own. Um, however, comma. <laughs> do, do be mindful of, uh, Do, do be mindful of what you're doing. Know that you actually can and should do it. Uh, maybe, maybe, I, I'd say check a YouTube video, but even then we had the kid who came in and swore that the YouTube video said that you could uh, clean your silver-plated trumpet with bleach. I'm sorry, what? He, he swore the video said that you, you could use bleach on your silver-plated trumpet. And, and so we're like, I, I'm sorry. There's no way anybody said that. No, 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 no. I promise the video said, like, show us this video. And the video very clearly said, do not use bleach <laughs> to clean your silver plated trumpet. Because <laughs> that's how you end up stripping the plating from your trumpet. And, uh, uh, let's just say those aren't cheap. Those are not cheap at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Happy parents? I mean, you know, uh, you work out? <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, just tracking. No, not happy parents at all. Because, uh, you can, you can get an instrument replated. But it will never be as good as it was when it came fresh off the factory. I mean, that, that kind of goes without saying most of the time anyway. But in particular, when we're talking about stuff like that, it's never, it's never going to be, it's never going to be like it was. No matter how much you may want it to be. <laughs> you do that to me all the time. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Did, did you uh, did you take the block of gold as it was out of a out of a what you call it or? Yeah, no, that was oh. the top of that. Uh, it was one of the blocks uh, that was out of position. What was it Bastion? Yeah. No. 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 The portal that I found. Oh, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Um, yeah, it was the it was on the capstone of that thing. I also saw where it looks like some of the uh, skeletons in certain biomes, the fossils. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's in the overworld. Some of the fossils will be spawning in caves with coal. Nice. As you know, a, a random chunk here and there in the bones. And some of them will be spawning in with diamond ore. 
Okay. I keep trying to drink out of an empty coffee cup. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's not helpful. That's not helping. That's not helping. Uh, but anyway, okay, yeah. So there's all that. That. Oh, um, before I forget again, I should probably go back to sounds and turn the hostile creature sounds back up. Not an addiction. I can quit anytime I want. I do every night right before bed. I still got to figure out what I'm going to do over here. Are we, are we still having a problem? Yep. Okay. I would love to know why those golems are suddenly there. Duh. Are still showing up there. Mm hmm. Because they came? Yeah, no, but they weren't before. They weren't until the block was removed and then we put the barrier back and there, there, there they still are. <laughs> okay. A and so, yeah. He should not be there. Are the... Cause let's face it, your church isn't... Uh, isn't exactly proofed. Are the clerics downstairs summoning him? No. Sure? Yeah. Because they, they they technically don't count as a village. They don't have a bed. They need a bed in order to count as a village. Is the... Is the honey block opaque? Can the village still see the villager through it? Or the it, it is opaque. It? They cannot see him through it. Um, although it's not a full block, so maybe they can see him around it? I don't... I don't think so though, because they still have to have line of sight. Like if you if you go into, uh... I would say first thing trade that block out, because it's the only thing that's the only variable we don't know. Put down it's... two slabs or something, two actual oak slabs or uh, blocks or whatever. Well, more than that, but uh... okay, yeah. The, uh, you see the blue line when you do the F3B? Their eyesight should hit the zombie's eye line in order for them to register that he's there and be scared of them. They, they got to get into a staring contest, basically. So even though that's not a full block, he still should be blocking their line of sight to him. Well, it's not a full block. You have that very slim at the bottom and at the top uh, of the honey block that they can see through. Yeah, but that's not... That's uh, Why did I go in here? Oh, because there used to be a bed in here. There's not anymore. <laughs> Crikey. That, 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 you know, that means it's time to do a little intermission and uh, top off that coffee real quick. <laughs> time to get some coffee? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I forgot how crazy this looks when, you, when you've got the uh, hitboxes on. Because you see the I'll little line for every, uh, every item and item frame. Uh, turn that off there. Or maybe I'll call it a night. I may call it a night. I'll have to see if Beast Lord is going to be uh, streaming soon. Calling it already? Already? It's 10 after 8. <laughs> I, I already yeah. mentioned I'm having enough trouble sleeping, and then, you know, they move the clock. Mm. I'm used to you, like, going over by, like, an hour or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I am wiped. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to. I just wanted to make sure that uh, if you were, that I handed it off to you. Because I, I, I do try to send people your way, too. What I do around this corner here? That. That. <coughs> what? What? <laughs> I... uh, 
Okay. Did you hurt your own brain? And I... That must have been... I don't know. Did I put too much whiskey in my coffee on that one? Or I don't know. Some pretty shoddy uh, <laughs> architecture there, buddy. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, if you if you're saying that you'll be you'll be uh, you know you'll be up in a little bit, I, I might I might go just a smidge longer, in, in particular to um, fix this corner here, because that that's gonna bother me. That's gonna bother me. I can't I can't walk by that. Who does that? Who does that? Who right. apparently? <laughs> yeah, I know me apparently. <laughs> nope, this is a corner. Nope. And there we go. I'm waiting for the 800 Endermite. Oh, is that a statistic? Do they actually give you a statistic for Endermites summoned? Like. Inquiring minds want to know. I don't know. I need to look that one up. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure if there is, I've I've got the record on that one. <laughs> uh, oh no, because the statistic should be Endermite summoned when you didn't want one. Uh. <laughs> then I have definitely won. Because I know that there have been plenty of times where I've been trying to summon an Endermite. And uh he didn't he didn't arrive. Didn't show up for tea. Nah. Alright. I think the worst thing about the 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 right clicking in regards to playing Minecraft because every game is different but in Minecraft it's I open my inventory and you know when you're right clicking on a villager to talk to him and it opens your inventory I automatically right click half the stack at the top of my inventory and throw it on the ground oh <laughs> <laughs> really come on stop yeah. that <laughs> You know, I just have to not play the recon class in uh, Battlefield and everything's good because as long as I don't zoom in I don't oh. notice anything <laughs> just run around and, and hit fire a shotgun the whole game I'm fine <laughs> uh, when I had the wireless version of this trackball there, there was a flaw in it that uh, no not this one a different one um a different trackball where every time I would right click uh, it would scroll the scroll wheel one click what? yeah so uh, just fathom that one as you go about trying to do various things <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, no, not especially not during World of Tanks. During World of Tanks, that that was the difference between uh, surviving and not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that was that was no bueno. <laughs> no bueno, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, that was creepy. Okay. What? I came to the Nether right by. Uh... On, uh, the gold farm or whatever. Oh. And the first thing I hear is a gas. And I'm looking around like, oh, no. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't see him, so I'm guessing he's below me somewhere. Probably. Yeah, let's grab that. That. One of those, one of those. Real quick. All right, that block is. We got ground one, two, three. So we've got ground. 
Bring? Yes. Okay. What did I do on this side? Oh, because this side, that wall is a little bit further forward. No, I got fortune on my uh, shovel. Yeah, not not that unfortunate. I don't feel very confident about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can go. And we can go one, two, three. And everything fits. Absolutely. I'm going to wrap up one little thing and then I'll be sending a bunch of people your way. Woohoo! We, we still got to we still got to get you on a D&D &D match with the rest of us. That cuz that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Okay. height to take here and wrap that around I'll probably do the same size panels and then find out that I'm like one block short on this side and I'll figure out my life when I get there all right let me uh, let me put a couple things away and then we'll wrap this show up too because uh yeah the tired is real call it away enough. And... Oh, almost. Almost managed that without crashing. Uh, crashing's what's going to happen when I finally get a little sleep. <laughs> or maybe another uh, nap in a cup. I don't know yet. Since I'm going to be AFK here for a minute, I'll get that sorting. I'll also pad my inventory a minute. I don't know why I would feel the urge to do that. Nobody around here would fill somebody's inventory with random stuff. I don't think anybody's around you to do it. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's, it's habit. It's habit. All right, this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. We stream every uh, from the Coffee Craft server every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Uh, well, 6.30 adjacent when I'm running late from work. Uh, <laughs> sorry. And on Fridays at 6.30 p.m., I usually run Games Revisited. Last week was a little bit of an off week. 
but we should be back on schedule this coming Friday, 6.30 U.S. Eastern. It's a look back at a classic game. We're going through the NES Classic Crystallis, and so uh, we're about halfway through there. All the episodes for that and all the live stream archives from this end up on the YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below, unless you're watching this replay on YouTube, in which case you found it. Uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, do the subscribe -y, bell -y thingy and, uh, and help the YouTube end of the channel out. Also, following on Twitch, we'll let you know when I go live. I've got the schedule two days a week, and I keep trying to add in a third one. Um, probably not until I figure out why Battlefield is running so slow, but uh, I definitely want to do a kind of uh, stress relief stream with uh, and use Battlefield. I missed that. Used to be World of Tanks, and now it's going to be Battlefield. Uh, I will definitely... I will definitely continue to make the top half possible. You're, you know, somebody's gotta somebody's gotta support people and help elevate their stats. It's a hard job, but I'm willing to do it. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm tired. I'm punchy, and I'm going to hit the title screen, but don't go anywhere because I'm going to send you over to Beast Lord. He is a wonderful, wonderful person. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please do. All right, give me just one minute from the title card. And then we'll go raid channel. Beast Lord.